Okay, well, I am slowly learning this 3D printing, and uh, this was the next step was to design a stator platform, stator base, for the easy spin type of motors that Laser Saber is so famous for having designed and built. And the step in my 3D printing learning was to post around the center of something, and I just learned how to do that. And you um, have functions on this uh, Tinkercad, which I'm sticking with. And now that I'm finding out what the Tinkercad can do, it can do some pretty neat stuff. And uh, this was one of the things was to be able to put multiple posts around a center point of a disc. And uh, this is uh, where I'm at with it right now. And this is um, just a wooden piece I built up to go on the base of this. But you could print this part of it up quite easily and uh, make it so that you could uh, simply screw it on top of your rotor um, and make it removable. Now one of the goals I, I have on this project here is so it all goes into a Ziploc, quart Ziploc bag uh, so that you can store it easier without getting it dirty or losing parts. So I would make this also it all went in the Ziploc bag. Now the rotor um, on this one here same thing I can print that up I figured out I can print that up. Um, it's currently made out of two lids that go together like this. And then the uh, push pins are the bearings on it. And then on the top is a screw with an adjustment on it. And the bottom is a brass rivet. And now Laser Saber's Easy Spin, he used jewel bearings, which are great, but I can't find them. Uh, they've disappeared. And I'm having pretty good luck with brass. Now, um, one of the first projects I told my sister I was going to try to build was a lid. I wanted to replicate what I've done because my name is Lid Motor in my YouTube channel. So they had a lid actually in the in the the um, Tinkercad files, uh, and so I printed one up, and that's just a lid like that. Only it's printed. Now I'm having trouble with the uh, plate, the built plate, not. Uh, forming a nice shiny surface on the bottom so I got to work on that but uh, um, I'm having some success and I'm getting these things uh, so that uh, it's where I need it to be and this is just a little driver now the way this would work is you'd have coils all the way around this thing probably four magnets and then you would build this up like an easy spin but this is just a simple driver to show you how it works here and that's uh, that's what I've been looking for, a, a more precise way to build a pulse motor using 3D printing. And this is um, what I'm going for. I'm going for a more precision way to make a motor using 3D printing. And uh, I think I'm going to get there. It's just going to take me some time to learn how to do it. But uh, um, it, it's it's hard for me to grasp. It's a different kind of learning process, but I will get there, and I am making progress. Thanks for all the encouraging words. I am staying with Tinkercad because I'm now learning it, and it's starting to make sense in my brain. I've looked at the other uh, software design programs, but the Tinkercad does seem to be the easiest for my brain to absorb. Thanks for watching.